specific action. We're going to keep all of these stocks on our radar today. And finally, it's over to Mangalam, who's tracking all of the cues from the futures and options space. Mangalam, Friday, we saw almost, you know, a cut of 2%. But take us to how it's looking this morning. Well, it was a sharp fall on Friday, like you pointed out. And what that did was it erased all the gains that we saw for the week. And the Nifty actually went ahead and broke a 12-week winning spree. And that brought the risk back on the table as well. And that was uh, witnessed in the way the India VIX rallied by almost 8 or percent closer to that 20 mark odd. Importantly, there were a couple of data points that stood out from levels of 18,100, which were proving to be a bit of a resistance on Thursday itself. The Nifty has now fallen almost 565 odd points. And the fall accelerated as soon as we broke that support zone of the 20-day moving average between 15,650 and uh, rather 17,650 and 17,700 itself. As uh, far as the cash market flows are concerned, you know, there was a buyer strike. The FII sold 3,200 crore plus. The DII sold 3,700, 37 odd crores. And that's primarily on account of uh, index rebalancing that the FII gross volumes were extremely high. But there was mild purchase in index futures. And that is something that we saw on Friday's uh, futures premium action itself. It spiked from about 14 odd points to 35 points. The FI has bought about 830 crores in index futures, added a few longs in that dip and uh, also bought a few more calls than puts. Importantly, the FIs were already net short, just increased their longs mildly from 24% to 28%. And they bought more calls than puts only so that, uh, you know, if we benefit from uh, the outperformance of the Indian indices, they could perhaps uh, hedge their positions. However, levels above that uh, 17,700 could perhaps see a fair amount of resistance. That's written in uh, the kind of call selling that we saw, 1.2 lakh calls sold versus just around 75,000 puts sold. Uh, the action in the 15, uh, 16, 000, 17,500 and 17,600 calls indicate that for a premium of 150 to around 200 odd rupees, there could be some resistance between 17,600 to 17,700. Whereas uh, for support, if you're looking at 17,500 put and 17,400 puts were extremely active for premium of uh, 140 to around 100 odd rupees. And that ties in with the daily exponential moving averages as well. The 20 DMA on the way up, 17,700 thereabouts. And the 50 DMA or DEMA on the way down is something we're looking at. In terms of stocks, a lot of long unwinding on Vedanta. Let's see what happens today. And a couple of stocks which were doing, uh, you know, which were moving a lot over the last few trading sessions. We saw India Cements and PBR both enter the FNO band.